Hi, this is Mike with Confile Technology. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature of our CPI C and CPI S panel PCs built around the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 and Compute Module 4S, respectively. The Compute Module 4 has a different bootloader than the Compute Module 3, so it's now much easier to boot from a USB drive out of the box. The ability to boot from a USB drive allows us to boot into a utility operating system and use that to flash the EMMC, among other things. This means that to flash the EMMC, we no longer need a USB-A to USB-A cable connected to a separate PC. Instead, we can boot from a utility operating system on a USB drive and use that to locally flash the EMMC storage. Flashing the EMMC this way is also much faster than flashing it over a USB cable. Now here I have a CPI-S panel PC, and this particular unit has 32 gigabytes of EMMC storage and we'll use this panel PC for the demonstration. Now the way the bootloader works by default is it first attempts to boot from the EMMC and then only if that fails will it attempt to boot from USB. So in order to boot from USB we first need to make the EMMC unbootable. Now to do that is a relatively simple procedure. We'll go to a terminal window and we'll navigate to the boot directory. We'll create a new directory called temp. And we'll move the start.l firmware files into that temp directory so the bootloader can't find them. And now we can reboot. And now you can see that the firmware could not be found, so it can no longer boot from the EMMC storage. Now I've installed our operating system onto this USB drive and made a local copy of our OS image. So we're going to boot from this. To do that, we'll connect it to one of the USB host ports on the panel PC. The bootloader will immediately find it and boot off the USB drive. Okay, now that it's booted into the desktop, we can go to the Raspberry Pi Imager program. We'll choose the OS image that I copied locally earlier. And we'll choose the destination as the internal SD card, which is actually the EMMC storage. Now one of the things you may notice is that this procedure is much faster than flashing the EMMC over a USB cable. Okay, now in the interest of time, I'm going to cancel verify. And one more thing we need to do with our OS image is we need to configure it for this specific model. To do that, we'll open up a terminal window. We need to mount the EMMC storage. and we need to replace the config.txt file with the one specific for this model.
and now we can reboot. Now because this is a fresh OS install, it will expand the file system, generate SSH keys, and then reboot. So now it's booting a second time from the EMMC storage. And there you have it, using the CPI-C and CPI-S to flash the EMMC with a USB drive. Thanks for watching.